Yeah, y'all, LBZ. Finally in the house about to get some soup. I wanted to ask y'all a real question, though. Because what that brother said earlier today is something I want to push back on. Donald Trump helped black people by Mexicans not being able, well, Hispanics not being able to cross the border. Okay. The only problem with that would be how. You have to explain how he made it better for us. Are you saying jobs? I don't see how. Most of us, I have never, I mean, in my adult life, ever lost a job to an immigrant that I wanted. There has never been a job I ever wanted that I didn't get because an immigrant was there. I've never had an immigrant be my boss or supervisor. <clears throat> Being totally honest. Now, if y'all talking about working at Popeyes and shit like that, well, y'all saw my Popeyes had black people in it. So, even if it was Spanish people there, I'm not working at the Popeyes. Um, so really I need to know what jobs are black people losing to Hispanics. You talking about construction jobs? You would have a point if it wasn't for one thing. Who is hiring them? Who's hiring these guys? That's white people. So are you saying that if there are no Hispanics here, whites will hire us? I'm going to push back again. No, they won't. They'll be hiring who they hired before the Hispanics got here and worked for cheaper labor. They're fucking kids. <laughs> They're going to hire their kids to work in the real meaningful positions. And yes, yeah, some Spanish people will be working on construction sites at far lower wages most of the time than black people. And again, here on a construction site, if you want something done right, you have to have black people. So I just don't know. I, I, I mean, you could be priced out of a specific job because of one, but losing out on a lot of economic opportunities, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Now, you do have stupid people who go, Oh, I'm going to get the Mexicans to do it for cheaper. But remember, you get what you pay for. I don't know if you know, Mexico's not world-renowned for its plumbing system. So you get a, a cheaper plumber from Guadalajara, who they ain't even known for having water, let alone clean water. And your simple ass is out here talking about he do it better than the brothers. S sorry for you. Y'all, uh, so I, I, I just wanted to know, am I the only guy that never lost a job to an immigrant? Seriously. Seriously. I mean, seriously. And when we talk about these immigrants, that's true. They have, when we when I talk about them, it's, be, it's the anti-black racism. Economically, for me, they don't have nothing I want. They, they not in a position of power. They aren't. They aren't in a position of power. Folks, they are in the same position that you're in. They got to vote with the white supremacists to try to move against you. Just like you will have to to get them kicked out. So, that's, that's just my opinion. You know, maybe where you... If you live in Texas or someplace like that, niggas stop. New Mexico, shit like that, niggas stop. 
You know why. <laughs> you know why it's like that for you. You know why. Because it's an enclave, a huge enclave of Hispanics out there. Just like in Miami, you got the huge enclaves of Cubans. But outside of Miami, they not moving nothing. They ain't moving nothing outside of Miami. They ain't, yeah, they not swaying nothing outside of Miami. Yeah, I, I, it's a few, it's some Marco Rubios and Ted Cruz's out there, sure. I'm not, I'm not pushing against that, yeah. And they pushing anti-black policies, but shit, they got to go along to get along. They got to push anti-immigrant policies too, where a lot of them can't come over here. I think giving, my thing is we shouldn't be giving white folks credit for uh, doing shit that didn't affect us. Nothing. Never give them credit for doing shit that don't affect us. Don't say, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm strongly against us ever giving praise or credit to a motherfucker for doing some shit that had nothing to do with you. I'm not giving you credit for doing shit that got nothing to do with me. I, I strongly suggest us as a people keep that policy. That's just my two cents on it. Again, I love my sister Nicole. I don't know who that guy was. I'm, I, it just frustrated me to hear that. Sometimes, I'm sorry, I'm a black man. I'm confrontational. I'm from the neighborhood. And me, personally, when I hear another black man say something I think dangerous to the community, I'm challenging you. I'm going to challenge you. I don't, you know, I don't have no love for no politician, no white politician. I see a motherfucker sitting up there talking about Biden. I'm going to get him, too. Biden ain't doing shit for us, just like I thought he would. Nothing. Nigga said, who did you say vote for? I told you, don't vote. <laughs> I'm Mr. Don't Vote at all. Because you're not going to get nothing. I said, why you ain't vote for Biden? Because he's a piece of shit. Why you ain't vote for Trump? Because he's a turd. That's the same thing. Exactly. Piece of shit. <laughs> The election was a piece of shit versus a turd. <laughs> piece of shit versus a turd. Which one would you... <laughs> In this corner, we have the piece of shit. In this corner... We have a turd. Hold the fuck up. Smith, dog, that's the same shit, nigga, I know. <laughs> I'm about to take that live down, but I wanted y'all to see this video. Man. wanted y'all to see this video. I'm serious. It's all love. Y'all can watch the rest of that live for a little bit, but... I'm going to probably take it down tomorrow or something. So you better record it. YouTube to MP4 it. So you can have that in your Rolodex, in your mental files, in your documents, if you will. <laughs> but yeah, man. I got to say, I... When people get to splitting heads, what policies did he do? Um, niggas couldn't live in his buildings. And, um, he couldn't have nigga accountants. No, I'm talking about for the government. Okay, so just being a, a natural white supremacist ain't enough. 
he had to be one in government for you to get mad. <laughs> huh? That, for real, that's how people sound to me. So you saying him being a white supremacist ain't enough. He has to be one to make policy. So the average white supremacist walking down the street about to do his practice, his white supremacy on you, that ain't really bothering you as much as the politician doing. No. Because he's allowed to do it, that's what make the politician think he can get away with it. The politician doing it to appease him. Politician doing it to appease the white supremacists in him. The white, the white supremacists. Yeah, they they not. They not doing none of that shit for you. It's for them. So. Don't give them credit for doing shit that they want to do. But see how he did that? That helps us. No, it don't. No, it don't help us. It, it literally don't help us. See how he did that? Yeah. He wanted to do that for them. That shit ain't had nothing to do with our melanated, beautiful black ass. He ain't do none of that shit for us. He did that shit. For them, like the 4 H club, he did it. The 4 H, he did the four honkies. That's the four, the four H. <laughs> That's the motherfucking 4 H club. He did the 4 H club, yeah. He did the four honkies. Alright, we good. I know y'all like this nigga's a bloodhound. Don't trip. That's strawberry. Oh, 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 oh. 